Good morning, this is Father Jeff Henry with St. Michael Catholic Community for Travis Air Force Base for Tuesday, 2 June, and I'd like to share with you a few thoughts for 240 seconds or less from today's readings for Mass, especially the first reading, which is out of Tobit, an Old Testament book, crazy book, a <laughs> fascinating book, but it uh, teaches us some wonderful things about the whole understanding of struggle, the struggle, and this feeling sometimes like, well, I've just had it, I can't do anything else, I'm, I'm fed up. You ever felt that way? How do you deal with this sense of just this almost, I wouldn't call it despair because despair has this sense of giving up entirely, but dealing with the feelings that lead to despair and how do we come back from that? You know the story perhaps, uh, Tobit has cataracts and he's despairing of life. And then there's this young woman by the name of Sarah who ends up marrying Tobit's son but she has had seven husbands and each of them died before they could consummate their marriage. And, and her servants are, are make, basically making fun of her and, and saying, well, you must have strangled your husbands and you're, you don't deserve anything. I hope you never have kids and this and this and this. Listen to what happens to her. The girl was deeply saddened and she went into an upper chamber of her house where she planned to hang herself. But she reconsidered saying, no, people would level this insult against my father. He had only one beloved daughter, but she hanged herself because of ill fortune. And thus would I cause my father in his old age to go down to the netherworld laden with sorrows. It is far better to me not to hang myself, but to beg the Lord to have me die so that I need no longer to live to hear such insults. We think, well, that's, that sounds terrible that she was in these dire straits. But in a sense, think about what, how she dealt with this, this idea of these feelings leading to despair. It ran through her head. And then she came to the second step of saying, well, I have a responsibility to other people. I need to lead a life that's a model for them and, and shows my love for them. And then she took another step beyond that where she came to the point where she said, well, I, you know, if God wants to take my life at a certain time, it's up to him. But listen to what happens next. This is fascinating. At that very time, the prayer of these two suppliants, Tobit and Sarah, was heard in the glorious presence of Almighty God. So Raphael was sent to heal them both. That's what God does. The point is that God does hear, and God will send us help in his time and in his way. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, we do commend ourselves to you in those moments when we have these feelings leading to despair. We ask that you cause us to look to you and entrust ourselves, our lives, in your hands, and you shall deliver us. We believe, we trust, we know that all good things come out of all bad things in this life because you will not let anything harm us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day. Talk to you later.